everyone welcome back to my channel today is Monday I finally made time to do this video for you last week I couldn't believe it um, I didn't end up doing the video until Thursday like really it's like the end of the week um, okay so I am grabbing my soup I'm gonna try to make this as simple as possible um, I'm actually in the living room because the sun is so shiny and I love it. It just makes me super happy. Um, tomorrow I'm actually going to be able to get my nails done and take a break. So I'm also happy about that as well. Um, so because I stuffed my envelopes really late in the week, um, I think that's what helped. And because I've been so busy working, I haven't spent any money and I really, I mean, I, I need odds and ends like for the fridge and things, but uh, I really haven't gone anywhere, so I haven't spent any money. And it's like, I'm like itching to spend. All right, so, all right, a couple things here. I took money out from the ATM, right? Um, And I only took 200. Now, let's see, I got my wallet here, I got my coffee. So I had extra money that was in my wallet from just I don't even know like I have a, some crinkled up dollars and I want to just make sure I'm in the view of the camera um so I just want to make sure that I'm in the view so I I had some like this had to be from uh my miscellaneous but I noticed that they were all just kind of wrinkly they were crushed and that's not normally like me um so I'm just going to grab a couple of the stuff and get things kind of organized. All right, we have this one too. So I ended up taking money with me um, last week when I was going to my daughter's house and I was actually going to go out. Um, we didn't end up going out because she ended up getting sick. So we ended up going to 99. However, because... Um, you know, she ended up getting like, she just got sick. So we left. We took the food and left. She was getting really, really bad pains. I mean, at the point where she thought she was going, like having the baby, she was really, really upset. Um, so yeah. Um, so this is the stuff that I still have left over. So these are my cash envelopes that are on the go. And typically I usually leave the miscellaneous in my wallet, but but because I've been busy, I'm going to be honest with you, I have not, I didn't even take these out. Okay, so in a way, I should have probably <laughs> checked what I had first for money, but it's okay. At the end of the day, I'm going to need the money, whether it's now or in two weeks, right? So, or tomorrow. So, uh, miscellaneous, I always keep in my wallet. And when I, when I, when I say that, I use this Louis Vuitton. It is a, um, this is a it holds my weeks as well. I love it so much. Um, so I take this with me on the go and I always like to keep the miscellaneous in there because maybe, maybe I leave and I don't take enough money with me for whatever reason. I always like to have money in my wallet. Okay. So there's really hardly nothing. Oh, there is. There's $27. Okay. $27. Now, the other one was groceries. And I know I, I went out and I, I remember that I went to the store a couple weeks ago and I know that there's like $40 left, right? So there is. Okay, great. So let's just go ahead. Um, this is, like I said, this is the one that we use for on the go. I'm going to put that over there because I want to, I want to keep all my want money in one spot. I don't want to have it all over the place. Now, the only thing that I do keep in my wallet is my miscellaneous. Okay. Everything else I keep in here. And then if I know I'm going out, like, okay, I'm going to go out to my daughter's house. I'm going to go to Target, whatever I'm going to do. If I know, if I plan and I know I'm going to be out for the day, then I take my envelopes with me and I put them in here. And that's exactly what I'm doing tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm taking the day off and I'm going to going to see my daughter and we always get lunch and I think I would love to go to Target. So I'm definitely going to make sure I have money with me. Okay, so I'm going to take this out of here. So these, these two, I'm going to just put them away. 
I have my cash drawer that's over there, um, but I don't really need to use it. So we, we won't use it. We're gonna use the acrylic tray. Now the acrylic tray, um, this is available in my shop as well. It's just a small little tray that you can put your money in if you are starting your videos or even for your cash stuffing. Okay. All right, so let me just go ahead and see what I have here. Okay. Um, I wanna tell you guys a really, really great story. Um, today I woke up and one of my, um, followers, one of my, I'm going to call her my follower, friend, customer. Uh, she's been following me uh, for a very long time. She, uh, bought like the pouches from me. So she's been, you know, she's been my friend for a while. So she messaged me in the morning and she said, I just want to tell you a story. I was out in the, st I was out, in, I was out in the stores and um, I had my I had my miscellaneous envelopes. I, she had her budgeting stuff with her, and somebody went up to her and was like, "What is that? Like, where did you get that stuff?" And then she brought up my Instagram page. I was like, "Oh my God, this is Christina Loves Planning <laughs> on Instagram." And the lady was like, "Oh my God, that is exactly what I'm looking for." Blah, blah, blah. And it was just really really nice that she relayed that message to me because um, it was just nice to hear that somebody across so far away um like liked my items and it just made me really happy especially when you're going you know you're tired and you got a lot going on i got a lot of stuff going on so it was really really it was just so it was so nice to hear so i just wanted to share that with you i thought it was great so thank you so much um miriam for that it was beautiful can we call her maria like okay all right, so let's go ahead and separate our money. Yeah, that was just a great story. So so this is the wallet that I use. Um, it's called, oh my God, I totally forgot. Oh, it's called an organizer. It's called a Louis Vuitton organi wallet organizer. So it's like, it's not the same as, you know, like your regular wallet. It goes like this and you have the zipper on the side and you just open it like that. This one like literally opens. So I'm going to put this aside. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83. We have 320. 320. 320. 330. 335. And three and four dollars crinkled up is three. 39. We have $339 that we are going to stop. So let's just hurry up. <laughs> let's just get it together. Um, so another thing too, I didn't have really have time. All right, let me go back. I don't really have time to update my, my planner, but, um, I want to show you my new budget inserts and I, you know what? I'm sorry, but I don't remember. Yeah, maybe I did. I don't remember. Um, so these are my new inserts. They are A5 size. I have A5 size. I have half letter and I am currently making personal. Now, if you are a pro at, at using your printer, then you know that you can, um, decrease the size and with the settings and stuff, and you can print them smaller. That works for you. Um, task. So task list. I want to print some more. Um, and then we have the month, we have the month on two pages. Um, task list, contact page. You can list, you know, your contacts. There's a yearly, here's some goals. And this has been a dream of mine to do notes, debt tracker, um, expense tracker. So you have your expense tracker. Um, you have your sinking funds. You have a saving bill tracker, savings tracker, and you also have a habit tracker. And I love the paycheck to paycheck. So I wrote in this, over here let me show you like I actually used it you know um, and I personally love it so I just need to print some new pages that fit the planner because <laughs> I ended up cutting them too short so that was my fault and this is like a pen mark there it's really irritating um, so we have expense we have a bill tracker and what I really love too is that I love how you have the bill tracker and the monthly overview on this page. So you can look at what bills need to be paid um, and you can have your date, you know, your dot stickers or your highlighter, um, you know, whatever works. So I have these two bills. I have the loft and I have my car insurance. Um, yeah, so...
This here is the paycheck tracker and I basically just use a highlighter and I filled it out. And then these are the sticky notes that will be in the budget bundles. I set up something where people like share my inserts and you know, really share them. And I wanna see how you guys are using them. So i um, very excited about that. So please, please do that for me. Um, yeah, so this is the bill tracker and then we are in the month of April. So May is coming around. Oh. Um, oh, and then you also have your dividers. So the dividers are four colors and they're all neutral. So I only printed April and May, and then you have like the other two. So I am in the middle of, uh, you know, having the hard copy, like a real budget planner printed. It's going to be on a linen cover. It's going to be so pretty. It's going to be so minimal and so perfect for us. I can't wait. Can't wait for you guys to see it. First thing okay. I like to do is what? Let's just get some balances going and then we can quickly, I know I have a sinking fund over here. Yeah, I also need to just, honestly, I just need to, um, I need to like get my meals under control. I need to eat better. A lot of times I will just rush, don't eat, and I work, you know, and that's not good. Um, so the first thing I like to do is like, let's say, for example, I wasn't being recorded. I wasn't recording or anything. Oh, you know, um, so there's 150. Um, I can put that 20 back and then we have $65. I'm getting my nails done tomorrow, so I'm excited about that. Let's see what the balance is. 90. Oh, I guess I haven't been in like two weeks. Uh, gas. Gas is 60. Like I said, I told you. I haven't gone anywhere. I told you. Um, that's okay. We'll stock up. It'll be good because we can stock up and, you know, Okay, so we're going to go ahead. Yeah, like I said, I didn't go anywhere, so I still have money. But uh, I always tell people the main, your main concern is your variable expenses. Like drill that in your head. Your variable expenses are your main concern, which is this, your groceries, eating out, beauty, gas, you know, everybody has different uh, categories, but your basic ones are right here, even the miscellaneous. So, um, it definitely helps. And then you can add your saving challenges, your sinking funds and things like that um, to help you. 292 is for miscellaneous. Okay. These are my saving challenges. This is my Louis Vuitton. I have over $300 in here. And I'm not really doing, I have the $5 one, so I'll probably continue to do it only because I got this far. Um, but I was doing the 26 week I stopped. I really want to focus on like one or two. So that's going to be the Louis Vuitton and we have the $5 and, and then I'm really just trying to save, um, the sinking funds like rainy day. I want my like taxes, business, Lucian, my, my grandbabies and business and stuff like that. So that's why I'm only doing one challenge. So look how thick this baby is. She's so thick. And guys, and I'm, I'm not just saying this because I sell this. I'm selling it because it's absolutely gorgeous. It looks, it just, it's so nice in person. I can't even, I can't even tell you. I just, I know. I sound like a broken record. I know. What am I going to do? So basically we, we, we did, we started early. We started. So these are the amounts that I have in my sinking funds. So these are in my credit union. These are here because they're smaller amounts. So I eventually will deposit these. And then I have check an account. Da, 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 da. So what can I say? So I think it's a great way to have small amounts. So let's say it's raining and you're just feeling blah. 
Maybe you don't want to use your eating out category. That's right here. Maybe you don't want to use this one. Maybe you do want to use a rainy day and you just want to go get a hot dog, chili dog with something, then you can use it. Saving in small amounts is just a great way. Okay, so groceries, we have 150, household is 65, miscellaneous. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to take uh, $50 plus 50. So that's going to equal 200. How many pens are working? So we're going to do 50. So we'll just do this. So that way the grocery has $200. Yeah. Um, and that way I have enough here so I can go out and do, I think it's, a, oh, I'm sorry, today's the 23rd. We're adding plus 50. So we have 200. So you stay within your, you stay, stay within your envelopes. Okay. And you will see how you your habits change and you'll see how you be creative like you're creative like go uh, with your spending. Stick to the budget that is in the envelope. Um, household, I'm going to add 20 because that'll be um, 85. So we'll do plus 20. So it's going to be $85. It was 80. Wait, what? Oh, I thought it was 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Oh, it was 85. I thought I, oh, I must have wrote the wrong thing. Okay, so we have 85 already. We'll add a 20. Or did I add a 20? Oh my God. Well, it said 85, so let's just grab a 20. So 20, 40, 60, 70. Yeah, no, that's wrong. 40, 50, 60, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's 85. Let's just do $5. 90. Oh my goodness. So we have $90. Because household is like, you know, I need to get Ziploc bags and things like that. Um, eating out, I definitely am going to add more money. I'm going to do 40. Um, I do, uh, for Mother's Day and my daughter's birthday in May, we're having like a Mother's Day, Justina's birthday, I'm sorry, Mother's Day, my daughter Lexi's birthday is on the 20th and for baby Adelina. So we're trying to celebrate all three. So the eating out will definitely come in handy. I'll probably be like ordering or catering or getting something very simple for people. I said, BJ's is still a hundred. I would like to use. Probably have to see if my daughter wants to go. We can get some stuff. Um, gas, we have $60 and I'm good with that. Like I I'm good with $60. I haven't I haven't um all right, so beauty is 90. Tomorrow I'm getting my nails done, so minus $40. I'll still have $50 left, so I'm still good for another week. Eating out, um, I added plus 40, so now we have a total of 100. Household is 85, and groceries is now 200. The sun went down. I hope it's okay. Miscellaneous is 292, um, so let's do... I think we're good with that. Um, for Louis Vuitton, let's just, like, this is my, um, challenge. Let's just add, you know, we'll do $25. Um, you guys are not watching this forever and hearing me talk. All right. Another $25. Yay. Okay. We'll count it later. So 25. I think it's short a dollar. One, four, yeah. That's okay. Hmm. 
<laughs> you now it's getting kind of full. Um, yeah, I really want to get a purse, so I'm I'm happy about that. All right. Um, okay, so we're good. These are other saving challenges. I have a five dollar one here. We're good though with that. Louis Vuitton. So let's go ahead and let's go over the variables. Very variables again. So I now have for groceries, I have two hundred dollars. Household, I have one hundred. Three, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, eighty-five, eighty-six, eighty-seven, eighty-eight, eighty-nine, ninety. Okay, ninety dollars. So household, we have ninety. Eating out, we have one hundred. BJ's is one hundred still. Beauty is ninety. I'm not gonna bother. Tomorrow I'll get my nails. I still have plenty. And there's also sixty dollars for gas. I'm still okay. So we'll check the gas tank tomorrow. I didn't even check it today. Miscellaneous is $2.92 and I will also leave that. I believe very much in miscellaneous. So like if, for example, if you're just starting out, you don't need all of these sinking funds. If you're just starting out and this is what you have, your basic groceries, household, eating out, gas, beauty, miscellaneous. This is going to help you so much because miscellaneous is a very, very wide range. Miscellaneous is anything. So put the majority of money in there. That's why I have 292 because I'm not going to mess up. So maybe if I don't have money here or something comes up and I can use the miscellaneous. I hope that makes sense. All right, so let's go ahead and take the remaining money and put it in the 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 sinking funds here. Okay. So fun part we have quite a bit of money left. Um like I said I'm in a good spot right now, so I'm okay. And I always feel like at the end of the day, if I needed it, I at least have it. I can switch it. If I had to take it out of one envelope to move it to another, I will do that and I can do that as well. But I think we're good. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to contribute $20 to my rainy day. So you have your plus and your minus, and we're going to be adding the plus. So we're going to do $20. So the ending balance for April will be $50 because I'm just going to use this insert, okay? You don't have to. Rainy day. Taxes, we're going to do $20. Uh, and then the total is, what is that? I can't even read my own writing sometimes. All right. Lucian has six, 165 in Ezra. Um, well, I guess it's not their fault. <laughs> All right. Baby Lou is going to get $20. And then what you can do is, um, like, when you write out your sinking fund tracker in your listing so let's say you print out another tracker for like the following week you can see the previous where you put money and then you can say okay well now I'm gonna start using you know putting in another area or something you know Ezra I'm going to add again one I'm sorry, $20. So this is for my grandsons so they I can buy them toys and I separate the money and it doesn't hurt me. It's not affecting me. It's just saving a little bit of money. And in $20 is not a little bit of money. It's a lot. But, um, you know, I, I did my cash envelopes last week and I had the extra. So, and like I said, as long as my, my groceries and gas and all that is um, is, um, g good and full, then I'm okay because I can do this on a weekly basis versus doing this on a bi-weekly. Uh, Joanne's is $25 is not bad, but I'm going to add 20 for the fact I get yarn. Sometimes people request a specific color. Um, and then I always like to get my vinyl. So now we'll have 45 you know what I mean? I get like my vinyl and I 
I, you know, get that kind of stuff where someone will be like, oh, I really want this color. And Amazon is 120. We're going to do another 20. So we have 140. Target of oh, business, we have 40. So let's add 20. And I'm able to do this because why not? I might as well do it because I took the money out. Um, so this is a, oops, it's a great way to get ahead. I have to open this up for people. If you want the flower, let me know. The credit cards, I want to also add, um, where was it? Oh, I skipped it. Oh, no. All right, let's do credit cards. Credit cards. We, this is what we really need to do because that's how you are free. There's $40. And we're going to add 20. So we have 60. Okay. Perfect. I love it. Um... 401k. I don't know what to do with this yet, so I'm holding off right now. Um, and then we have Target, which is $225, so we're going to add another $20. $20. Um, and I'm going to use this money tomorrow. One, two, three, four. These are in the bank. But I also have them physically here too. So if I add money and I'm ready to, to deposit this, then that's what I would do. I would deposit the money like this, that, like whatever I have to, and then I would put it in the category. So let's say I did emergency fund and uh, clothing right here. Um, I would deposit it in the bank and put it in the, in the account. So this is emergency. So this can actually go. It's thirty dollars. And then I have planners. So let's just say I want to order some stickers. I want to get like a bunch of stickers and stuff. Then um, I would put this money in the bank and I would use my card. All right. So we have holiday. I'm gonna put twenty dollars because this holiday is for birthdays too. So. Um, like I said, we have Mother's Day coming up. I have my daughter's birthday coming up and the baby's baby shower. It's an event. It's going to be all three on one Saturday. We don't have a big family. It's not like some, you know, big thing, but I want to have food. Um, I want to just have something simple. So holiday, this is money for the birthday. So I think, yay, we're good. So that wasn't too long. That wasn't too bad. So this is where I keep all my sinking funds. And then, like I said, if I need it, and I'm, I put deposit it in the bank. So I hope that it makes sense. And I hope that the video wasn't too long. Again, if you're interested in my, in my, um, my new budget planner, please check out my website, download it. Everything that I use, even this, my everything I use, I have on my website. Um, that's how much I believe in the product because I love it myself. Um, so I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Um, and I hope that you enjoy the video. Please say hello. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share it. And um, again, oh, let me just show you one last thing. Saving challenges. So these are the challenges. There's 37 of them. And I put them in the clear envelope. Um, and then I put them in the boxes that say saving challenge on them. So you could essentially use this for the full year. You have 37 of them and you can put them in your drawer, put them away. And when you need them or you're like, you know what, I think I'm going to do, you know, it's the month of May. I'm going to do a saving challenge for May. You can take it out you can put it in your binder and stuff like that. It just makes it, oh, it just makes it fun. And the thing is, is that this wording matches the budget bundle. I'm sorry. I'm getting all confused. Um, this wording actually matches the font uh, in the planner. So everything really like matches nicely. Um, yeah. So just want to share that with you. <laughs> um, all right, guys. But I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, and again, say hello below. Bye for now. So I wanted to share with you the 
cash envelopes and very quickly. So I have quite a few here. I don't know why I grabbed all of them. I only need one. I just grabbed the whole stack. So this is uh, your side, side tabs, your top tabs, your top tabs that are plain. And then I also have side tabs, which are also these, so I can show you. So these are my cash envelopes that I sent. I wanted to show you what they look like and why I love them so much. Now, they are very, it's, they're, they are a PVC material, so it's a very um, nice material. So it's not super thick, like a kind of like that frosted dashboard look. Um, but I, pre I actually have them in my shop, the frosted, those are discontinued. Um, these are my favorite. And so these are the four that I have in my shop and I also offer them wholesale. So you can get a set of six just like this. Um, and you can also get for yourself or if you want, or if you have a business, so these, you can decorate them and do what you want. Um, same goes for the top loading. So the top loading as well. The, now the top loading, um, the material is a little tad bit thicker. I wanted to test out the difference. So, um, you probably can't see they're very, they're, they're very bendable as well, but this one has more of a shiny look to it, but they're both gorgeous and I love them. So blank, <clears throat> blank for side, blank for your top. And then these are pre-made. So this says groceries, household, eating out, beauty, gas, miscellaneous. Those are your basic categories. And then you have your sinking funds, which are uh, savings, emer here, let's just open it. We have savings, emergency, monthly bills, planners. I wanted to do something for like hobbies. Um, we have holidays and we have clothing. Maybe I can take a poll for people and what they what they would really like as far as maybe a set of six. So you have clothing, household, monthly bills, planners, emergency fund, and savings. Look at this. No vinyl. It's absolutely gorgeous. Pre-made, ready to go. And then the same goes for these, which I just told you, the groceries, the household. So I just really wanted to show you, I know that I, sometimes we all, are, and then I, we, we run a fast, busy life. And I know that sometimes when I show the reels, it just might, you might not be able to really see. I think the ones that are pre-made are absolutely gorgeous. And I remember when I first started, um, using the cat, this is what I went to and I never, ever stopped. Four years later, I'm still using the same. Um, and then we have the budget inserts as well that go with the sets. So, okay, that's what I wanted to show you. If you have any questions, again, always please let me know.